Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. So, it is Sunday. That means it is unit review time. Now, stick around because there will be mention of a giveaway at some point during this video, and I will let you know exactly what you need to do to actually be entered for a chance for that giveaway. But I'm not going to tell you at what point that part of the video is. You're going to have to stay and listen, unfortunately. But while you are doing that, you're going to be able to actually learn about what is the most asked for unit review video that I have had to date and that is the going into the unit tree quickly just to show you on the cavalry tree the prefecture heavy cavalry so these guys are one of those cavalry units you have to pick up on the way to fire lancers if you want to unlock the fire lancers going the traditional way if you don't want to unlock the fire lancers you just want to go straight for the out rangers you can do that just by going through the seasonal challenges but actually a lot of people have asked are the prefecture heavy cavalry any good are they decent do they do they kind of hold their own a little bit simple answer yes long answer no and i will explain exactly what i mean in this video so the heavy cavalry these are the guys that i actually picked up as my first proper cavalry unit and back in the day they used to absolutely smash everything like there was a lot of lower tier units and these guys just absolutely trampled through them you can probably imagine right now though with a lot of people running golden cavalry and golden tier units even purple tier units as well these guys do struggle a little bit nowadays they are still worthwhile they are still useful in certain circumstances circumstances but actually there are unfortunately better better cavalry units you can pick up nowadays but if you're really determined on picking these guys up and playing them you aren't going to you you're not going to be disappointed wholly wholeheartedly with them they are useful in certain circumstances so looking at the strength there are 16 dudes per unit the maximum level of 18 and their leadership is 260 which is about right for an epic tier unit looking at details so you this unit is best used to charge and then you can get them to regroup retreat and then do a another charge for them as again they are flame resistance so they will take less damage from flamethrowers from Sicilian militia anybody that uses flame weapons they will take less damage they will still take damage don't don't get caught up with actually they're not going to take any damage they will still take damage it just will be less than most other units they only have the one unit order which is the charge but to be honest for cavalry this is by far the most useful anyway three different formations the one you're probably always going to be using is the wedge formation because that is by far the best one for a cavalry charge uh they're not very good in sieges which is expected most cavalry isn't however they are pretty good out on the desert and in the plains so field battles is where these guys really excel so the health just under 7000 that's okay for a cavalry unit speed is pretty good 10.3 uh, their piercing and slashing damage are pretty similar in terms of their penetration and Actually their piercing damage when it comes to the base damage isn't great So these guys will use pierce damage for their charge mainly slashing damage is when they're in sustained melee 1136 isn't overly high for a cavalry unit in sustained melee However, they do have a little bit of damage with them. They can survive a little bit and they will pump out a little bit of damage while they're in that melee but this unit is all about hitting people in the rear or in the flank with that charge retreating them strategically withdrawing them regrouping them setting up that charge again to pop it off as soon as that cooldown is ready their defense is their blunt defense is shocking <laughs> <laughs> absolutely shocking piercing and slashing defense is okay but it's nothing special these guys are going to suffer in sustained melee they are really not built to just sit in sustained melee so make sure you are getting them out of battle and not just having them sit in battle while they're getting ready to actually go off on another charge so like i said to unlock these guys you need to go down the cavalry unit tree which is the third page on the unit tree tab go down this line here you can just go 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 you can literally go straight to it you don't need to worry about 
popping off and getting anything on the sides. If you are going to go down the route of Fire Lancers though, you do however need to go down this route then to get the Dagger Axe Lancers and then back up, get this skill and then you can get the Fire Lancers. Fire Lancers, but are they worth doing over the Laos Rangers? Personally, I would say just go for the Laos Rangers. It's a lot easier and the Fire Lancers, they are great to be honest. Um, but that is how you do it. So these guys do have a couple of maximum health kind of nodes that you can actually get as well. They've got a charge cooldown node as well, which is quite useful for these guys. So each time you get one of these nodes, it reduces that charge cooldown by 10%, which is pretty substantial to be honest, because if you get all three and that cools the, uh, or that reduces the charge cooldown by 30%, that is huge. Uh, going into their actual skill page though and their skill tree so I have got these guys elite already and the veterancy line I have gone down is the top line which right at the end will reduce damage dealt by 5% overall but it will increase damage dealt to infantry by 15% which is quite big to be honest and Actually, these guys are only ever really going to be used against infantry and not other cavalry units. The bottom line is all about actually a little bit more tankiness. I don't think these guys are made to build. They're, they're not made to be tanks. They're made to do that very quick charge attack damage. Do that shock attack. Get in there. Do as much damage as you can. Pull them straight back out. That is the way these guys are meant to be played. So going back to the doctrines that I've got on these guys currently, nothing special, but you just want to be focusing on really slashing or piercing damage if you are looking at increasing that charge damage or that sustained melee damage. At the minute I've got slashing because I don't think I had any piercing. Uh, speed is quite useful, movement speed buff is useful on whatever unit to be honest the assassin doctrine again is very useful on whatever unit this increases damage dealt to heroes by 85 percent i can't remember what the unit one is called but if you have one of the blue unit damage uh, doctrines as well or again very useful will be beneficial on putting on the elite prefecture cavalry these guys are quite a good unit like i said would i pick them over other units i personally over other cavalry units yes of the same tier if i had to choose out of these three it would be prefecture heavy cavalry every single day of the week however for that uh, amount of leadership i would rather be taking in something like azaps or paladins or something of that nature because they're just they're more they're they're better suited to a lot more things rather than the heavy cavalry which are very situational you've got to set up that rear attack that flank attack they will score a lot of kills if you manage to pop off their charge at the right time, but it is very situational. These guys, like I said, are good, but only in very small circumstances. I'm going to leave this video there though, folks. I hope you have enjoyed this one. So the giveaway, the giveaway is going to be for one of three different codes. What you need to do is let me know down in the comments below what is your favorite cavalry doesn't matter what tree they're on doesn't matter if they're a seasonal unit just let me know what is your favorite cavalry and the reason why as well don't need to write an essay but just a short answer as to why you have picked that certain cavalry units and i will draw the uh i will draw the prizes for people in the next unit review video so next sunday will be the announcement of the giveaway winners so like i said if you want to be in with a chance of winning one of three different codes this week then let me know what cavalry is your favorite let me know the reason why and just share this video around the more people we can get involved the better because actually the more people i can get involved in the giveaways the better prizes i will be able to get to give away in future so definitely worthwhile sharing this video around as well thank you very much for watching folks hit that sub button, hit that like button, share this video around, leave me a comment down below, and I hope you've enjoyed this one, and I hope to catch you out on the battlefield.